hey guys i'm back again with this wig making tutorial and if you want to learn how to make a wig or you want to know how i made this wig then please keep watching and as usual guys like share and if you're new here please do subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video so i filmed this tutorial around 1 a.m in the morning so ignore me if i'm looking like a hot mess yeah so to begin all you're going to need are a recap your dummy head your weak stand but i don't have a weak stand so i'm using my <gasps> light stand i'm just fixing in that hole into the light stand i'm securing it with the stuff i don't know what's called yeah <laughs> i'm trying to improvise so now you're going to need your needles and your thread i've already threaded them and as you can see i placed them on my stand yeah pack drop <laughs> yeah i don't know what i'm showing you but i just feel like showing you guys because you guys can see so now i'm using three bundles of this really curly luscious hair and it's in 16 inches as you can see and i'm just going to wiggle it up and down so you guys can see how pretty it is so i'm going to start off by using my needle and i'm going to be putting it through the weft of the hair and this just ensures extra 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 security for your weaves because literally your weaves are going to be stuck on your recap so it's not going to you know go anywhere so i'm just going to be going ahead by sewing that and i'm going to be focusing on the edges of the recap but just so you know when you're in case you want to flip your hair in case you're a hair flipper like i am um it wouldn't be showing the back of your head wouldn't be showing you get what i'm trying to say so i'm just going to go ahead to just sew around the edges of the recap you know this just makes it easier to style your hair and you know just makes your hair look a lot neater if that if you guys can understand what i'm trying to no, I'm heading out. <laughs> I'm just going to keep uh, sewing it round and round and round. And I'm trying to use double stitches because I'm trying to get my my wig as secure as possible. I don't want to have to be fixed later on in life. <laughs> I'm just going to keep sewing that round, round. And I'm using just one strand. I'm not doubling my um, weft. I'm using just one. And just I, I think this makes like your hair a lot fuller and it just makes it easier you know to sew up if you're a learner you know, if you're a beginner like me so yeah i'm just gonna keep doing that and sewing that on and on so girls remember when i said using a single weft or layer i'm not sure what appropriate word to use it's gonna make your work so easier and i'm gonna show you how i flip my hair and you know because it's single it's so easy and it's gonna make my work you know look really neat and really flat i'm not gonna have any bumps now this is how i flip my hair and i'm just gonna take my needle and put it through the weft i'm just gonna sew it on the wig cap and i'm going to tighten it double stitches as usual guys double stitches and i'm going to you know not the stitch as flat as possible and as you can see guys it is so flat you wouldn't notice that i just bring the hair around and i'm just going to you know flatten it more if i need to i'm just going to keep sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing, and sewing, and sewing so i'm done with that i'm just going to keep flipping and sewing and flipping so you get the drill so just to show you guys how I stitch it down, I'm just going to be showing you an up close clip of that. Now pray it and double knot. Then just you could just hold it. I don't know if you guys can see. This is my knot. I'm going to hold it just here. I'm going to pull out the pull it out and tighten it. See? It's not going anywhere. It's very secure. I'm gonna continue that. So guys, this is what one bundle of the hair looks like. So guys, we're just going to go ahead yeah. to fix in my closure. And usually I like to start off by fixing my closure before I go in with my bundles, just so it gives me an idea of the remaining space I have to work with. But because I had to bleach and wash and allow my closure to dry, I had to wait, do this like almost last. But now it's dry and I'm just going to fix that onto the front part of my face, ensuring that it is as flat as possible. Getting it flat as possible is like major key guys, because you don't want your frontal or your closure to be, you know, bulging out and not to be flat on your forehead or on your head. 
so i'm just going to go ahead and stretch that out just so it's as flat as possible and i'm using my t-pins to secure that now i'm just going to go ahead and secure that around the edges of my closure and i did this like over three times because i i literally tried to get it as flat as possible getting it as flat as possible is major key guys i cannot say that because i made a week and it wasn't flat i had to redo it so now as you can see it is so it is so flat it is flat and this is what we want so i'm just going to go ahead to secure that with my curved needles and i'm just going to tighten that out at the edges and at the edges i like to secure that with like a double stitch and i like to double it up twice i'm just going to go ahead to do that again you know yeah because it's at the edge yeah i'm just going to double that again and once that is done i'm just going to cut it out and fix in the remaining bundles at the back of my head yes so guys i just went ahead to fix in the remaining bundles and i fixed that in a curved motion if that makes sense just to form the frame of my closure now as you can see i'm using the remaining weft or weave to just close up the gap between the bundle the fixed in weaves and my closure because this is very important you don't want to have space in between your closure or your frontal and your weave so i'm just going to go ahead to you know close that space up as close as possible and the remaining um the edge of the weft i'm going to be sewing that onto my wig cap and through my closure just so it has like extra security and you know it doesn't flip out when you know later on in life <laughs> i'm going to be doing that twice i like securing my edges twice the edges of my um weft Twice. I'm just going to be securing that twice and you know getting it as tight as flat as possible and guys we're done We're just going to go ahead and cut off the excess um, Thread and the excess lace and I'm going to just fix that on my hair and just work it. Yeah And as you can see guys, this is the final outcome and I am slaying, I am happy, I am, yeah. So thanks for watching my video again guys. I will see you in my next video but please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And do feel free to check out my previous videos and you guys stay fab. Bye guys.